<sighs> Hello everyone, this is Magnusonic3000 doing another episode of what I think is bullshit. This time I'm going to be talking about a very neglected character who has appeared in a recent Sonic game. This character's name is in fact Chip, that little, uh, what exactly is he anyway? I want to say dog with fairy light wings. Yeah, I really don't know what he is. I just call him a flying dog. But, uh, yeah. Um, whatchamacallit, um, um, oh, okay, <laughs> sorry about the pause, it took me a while to remember what I was going to say. Um, anyway, yeah, a lot of people say they, they don't like him, his voice is annoying, he's just another one of useless characters that Sega has shit out of their ass. I have to actually say no to that. You know, actually, I have a top five favorite characters, well, at least favorite Sonic uh, sidekick characters, and what's funny is that, like, I have, like, Silver is number five, Blaze is number th see, four, uh, Amy is number th three, uh, Knuckles is number two, and Tails is number one. Well, a rare occurrence has happened. A new character who I've just met has actually made it to number one, completely knocking Silver off the list. And that, my friends, is Chip. Yes, I actually do like him. He actually doesn't has he doesn't have an annoying voice like most of the other characters. Um, like in Japanese, he sounds girlish, uh, but I can kind of handle that. In English, he actually sounds kind of funny. Especially like he's also a good comedy act. Like he actually dies, and you see his ghost. Uh, there's a couple times where Werehog bitch slaps Chip because I think he's on his head or. He gets in his face, so he just swats him away. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But he's also the only character who's actually risked everything and pushed himself to the limit to help Sonic in the very end. And that's saying something. All the other characters that are his sidekicks really don't do anything. Sonic Adventure, they did nothing with Super Sonic and Chaos. Sonic Adventure 2, they did nothing. The only one who actually helped Sonic was Shadow. Sonic Heroes... Only a few of them started fighting, but then when they turned into metal, when Metal Sonic turned into Metal Overlord, they did nothing. The only one who actually helped them was Super Tails and Super Knuckles, and even then they didn't do much. Super Knuckles is good for whenever Metal Sonic throws uh, 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 like those ships at you, and Tails is good. Super Tails is good for doing the thunder shoot on those little missile things that he fires out of his fingers. Um, because if you hit him with like Sonic or something, you'll get frozen and stuck in there. But as for the spines, that's all Sonic. And also, he has to destroy the. Uh, Sonic also has to destroy those little crystal things that Metal Sonic shoots out of his chest. So Sonic actually has more to do. So basically, they only help him like partially. Carol the Hedgehog doesn't count because that was all a shadow. Uh. Sonic Riders and Sonic Riders Zero Gravity don't count because that's all like just racing. Super Sonic was only an unlockable character. He wasn't actually like in the story, I don't think. Uh, Secret Rings was Dark Spy and he was basically all alone, so yeah, they don't count either. Because Shara was dead, so she had an excuse that she couldn't help. Um, uh, what should we call it? Um, what else? Uh, oh. Uh, as for Sonic 06, the only ones who actually helped them were Super and Shadow and Super Silver. And, uh, yeah. They were only a little bit of help. Um, other than that, though, basically he's gone without any kind of support whatsoever. Um, as for Chip, though, in the final ending with Dark Gaia, you actually play as Chip and beat the shit out of Dark Gaia. Yes, you play as Chip, not Sonic. You're in this giant golem thing that reminds me of freaking Sonic Adventure 2, the egg golem, and you beat the shit out of Dark Gaia. You just beat the snot out of him. I mean, I mean, just whacking him and just let him let him have it. It is just pure win. Uh, on top of that, afterwards, uh, when you get Sonic, well, like, Sonic does help Chip, but then when he goes Super Sonic, 
uh, you like it's awesome how it's like so epic. You uh, supersonic and chip as the giant golem is just floating up to this giant shield that perfect dark Gaia sprouted up, and um, you can't get through. It won't let you. But chip, oh man, that is some friendship. Chip pushed his way through the shield. And then started beating the shit out of Dark Gaia some more, telling Sonic that he'd distract him while he took out the shield. Wow, that is just determination right there. Once you take out the shield, though, he gets in trouble, and Super Sonic just has to basically just help him out. But afterwards, he knocks him out of it. Um, uh, freaking Dark Gaia shoots out like a, I call it the Chaos Cannon, that giant beam of energy he fired out. Chip just blocked it and then freaking charged at him again and just socked him upside the skull once again and just killed him. That was just epic ponage right there. That was, oh my god, I couldn't believe what I just saw. That was the best Sonic ending ever, like, in the last couple years. I mean, freaking, that, that, that reminded me of Sonic Adventure 2. And and it was also emotional because you know Chip was risking everything, and he actually died, which was bullshit. I know a lot of characters uh, Sega makes are stupid, but Chip was actually pretty cool. I'm actually disappointed that he dies. I actually, I'm actually pretty pissed. Yeah, I don't care if people thought he was annoying in any other game. Chip would have been an awesome character to still have, especially if you could use that egg golem or whatever golem. I forgot what it was called again. Yeah, that was just ponage right there. So, yeah, I salute Chip for his brave and valiant effort. Yeah, I don't see any of you other Sonic people helping Sonic out like that. Till, I mean, Tails is his best buddy, and even he didn't help out. The way Chip just ripped through the shield and junk makes it look like Sonic and Chip are better friends than Sonic and Tails. And that's saying something. Man, man, oh man, oh man. That is one fine character. I hope Chip reappears. I actually like him. And I especially like his voice. But, yeah, like I said before, if you uh, guys hate Chip, then why are you still watching? So, yeah. So, Sega, I salute you for making not only an awesome game with a sheer ponage ending but for making an awesome character as well I salute you All right. anyway this has been another what I think is bullshit rant by me so yeah hope you liked it and if you're one of those chip haters you can all burn in hell